Patience is a virtue. The thin controller held a letter in his hand. Six little engines watched him anxiously. Do you remember Tally Lynn, your twin? He asked Garlowy. He is ill, so his controller is short of an engine. Now I can't spare anyone until Duke is mended, but I want to suggest to him that one of us... Oh, oh sir. sir, please, please sir. sir, cried the engines excitedly. The thin controller held his ears. <laughs> you can't all go, he laughed. I thought, Sir Handel. Oh, sir, said Sir Handel happily. A few days later, Duke was taken to the works. Sir Handel's excitement grew. I hope he comes back quickly, he said to anyone who would listen. Don't be so impatient, his driver laughed. There's a lot to be done. Your repairs took a long time, remember? And Duke is older than you. The weeks passed, and still Duke didn't come back. Sir Handel became more and more impatient. One day, he was waiting at the bottom station when Gordon arrived. I've been invited to Wales, Sir Handel told him importantly. But I can't be spared until Duke is mended. Quite right, said Gordon. It's a great responsibility for being indispensable. Gordon says I'm... er... insensible. Sir Handel boasted to the others. They were amused, but not impressed. Summer came, and crowds of visitors came to the railway. Sometimes, extra coaches were needed to carry them all. One day, Sir Handel's train was fuller than ever. When he reached the top station, he was exhausted. An enormous crowd of people was waiting on the platform for the last train home. They must have come on the earlier trains and stayed to picnic by the lake, said the fireman. Never mind, we'll manage. It's all downhill now. But at the station near the waterfall, the platform was full too. We need a shoehorn to get the more len, exclaimed the guard, scratching his head. Still, we'll have to do it somehow. I'll take some with me and Beatrice. The passengers had enjoyed their day in the hills and didn't mind standing. They knew it would be only for a short while. The guard always checked tickets at the station by the waterfall. Today it was a long job, and before he had even half finished, Sir Handel was growing impatient. An insensible engine like me shouldn't keep Henry waiting. He fumed. Can't be helped, said his driver. Henry will just have to wait. He kept us at it before now. At last, the guard was ready. He blew his whistle, waved his green flag, and turned towards Beatrice. At last we're off. Do come along. At last we're off. Do come along. Sir Handel snorted impatiently. Quickly, the train began to move. The guard tried to get into Beatrice, but her doorway was blocked by passengers. By the time they had moved to let him in, the train was out of the station and the guard was left standing on the platform. Beatrice tried to stop, but there was no one to put her brakes on. The guard blew his whistle and waved a red flag, but the line curved and Sir Handel couldn't see or hear him. Luckily, a passenger in Beatrice knew what to do. He pressed the button and the buzzer sounded in Sir Handel's cab. His driver braked hard. Now what? He asked the fireman. Go and find out. Maybe we've left someone behind. They had, of course. They soon discovered who. Passengers helped the guard into Beatrice, and after a fast run, the train reached the terminus at the same time as Henry. Sir Handel stopped with a sigh of relief. The guard came to see him. I'm sorry I was impatient, Mr. Guard said Sir Handel nervously. I didn't want to be late. Insensible engines shouldn't be late, should they? No, agreed the guard. But sensible engines know that patience is a virtue. Remember that next time. I'll try, promised Sir Handel sadly.